Dippin' Dots are a really unique treat that consists of tiny, super frozen balls of ice cream, and you can only seem to find them at weird places. Amusement parks, zoos, but like, we haven't been to any of those in years. I haven't had any. I want some. So today we're going to be making some with liquid nitrogen. Now, a lot of people online have made this, and basically what you do is you take regular ice cream, you melt it, you put it into some sort of dropper, and you drop individual drops into the liquid nitrogen, it freezes it into tiny little ice cream balls, and then you eat the balls. Yeah, but that's not all we're doing today, because we also, at great expense, shipped some real Dippin' Dots out to our house. This is a real, genuine deal. It costs $150 to ship these out, because they came in a fancy container with dry ice. I'm not sure if it'll be worth it, but we want to be able to compare the real deal versus the ones that we're going to be making here today. And speaking of DIYing things, we also had the thought, like, do you even need to start with normal ice cream and melt it? Could you also just take use to make homemade ice cream and drop those into liquid nitrogen and make like real DIY Dippin' Dots? I don't know. I don't know. But there are some things that we're gonna have to keep in mind while we do this today. Safety. Liquid nitrogen is really cold, so we're gonna be taking precautions to make sure we don't give ourselves frostbite. Now we also have this oxygen meter that I'm gonna turn on, because I forgot, I forgot to turn it on. Okay, I was like, <laughs> did, I, did I run out of batteries? Because as liquid nitrogen heats up, guess what it turns into? gaseous nitrogen, which displaces oxygen, and we like breathing. So that's this right there. Don't worry about the explosions. We got that. We no, no worries there. All right. <laughs> Ready to start? Yeah. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do, this is actually one of the slightly more dangerous parts because liquid nitrogen, very, very, very cold. A room temperature piece of borosilicate glass is extremely hot in comparison, and it's going to start boiling intensely when we pour it into this container until the container cools down to the right temperature. So it's gonna look really cool. I, don't know, I hope so. Ugh. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right. You can hear the bubbling. Yeah, well, look at bubbling. You see that? You don't want to get those little drops on your hand. No. <laughs> That's why I'm staying away. All right. Well, while that cools down and gets to the right temperature, let's start melting ice cream. Yeah. So um, we got a few different flavors because our favorite Dippin' Dots flavor is the banana chocolate strawberry one. So we have banana chocolate and strawberry ice cream. Yeah. If I can get it out. So this is the Dippin' Dots we're going to try to recreate. The banana split right here. Oh wow, this is really it's going. It's really going. It's really going. Now, you can get specialized containers that already have insulation around them to keep the liquid nitrogen cool, but we're a DIY channel, guys. So what I did is I got a uh, foam cutter like an expanded foam cutter, and I cut my own little insulated container and I made it to surround a beaker. And it's cooled down a lot now, so it's not boiling yeah, as much yeah. anymore. It's really Time exciting for a, for a little second. bit more. I didn't want to fill it all the way up while it was boiling. We don't want it like splashing out. No, 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 no. So I'm just going to top it off bad. a little bit. So we got a lot of chocolate ice cream because we're going to be experimenting with that. Yeah. We're going to be experimenting with the three different dropper methods. Mm. <laughs> I've been wanting ice cream all day. <laughs> Just thinking about this stream. Awesome. Woo. That's exciting. I know. It's quite so one, full now. One of the reasons why I chose a container of this size is because I wanted something really deep. I wanted the balls to freeze instantly. And if it was a really shallow pan of liquid nitrogen, it might like stick together with other balls that are already in there. 
And we got some of these tips from our friend, Nate from the internet, um, who has done mm -hmm. DIY liquid nitrogen dipping dots before, and he gave us some of the lessons that he learned, and we're gonna be using those today. Yes. Okay. I'm actually gonna move this method away. This is gonna be the third method we try, and I just don't want it in the way right now. Yeah, like we mentioned. <gasps> what was that? It was this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you thought it was the glass? <laughs> I thought it was something like one of the glass things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, for a large part, we're past the dangerous stuff. Yeah. The pouring and handling is one of the more dangerous parts of things. Just going to make sure that this camera right here is positioned correctly and looking down into the liquid nitrogen. Oh, that looks great. That looks I so mean, cool. guys, look at this. Look at that. Don't, don't you want to take a little bath in there? A little yeah, hot tub? Yeah, it looks like a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay, baby. Right. Yep. So, um... Scientist. Scientist. I uh, put some ice cream in the cup. Yep. And I'm going to melt it. All right, that ice cream is... Unmelted. It's, it's, it's iced. Yeah. Let me put it in for like 10 seconds. Because we don't want it, we don't want it boiled. I'll stop it before it. Waiting montage. <laughs> yeah, I'll just bring them back over to here. Yeah, it's much more interesting. What if I just like a <laughs> right after I talk about safety? He's a little bit more. Okay. I'll do another 10. I don't want to overdo it. Yeah. All right, so we have chocolate first. Um, and the different methods we're going to be doing, method number one, it's just going to be a syringe right here. We're just going to suck up the ice cream and slowly drip it into the liquid nitrogen. Man, this feels like really wrong, honestly, microwaving ice cream. I mean, it is wrong. It's like I'm undoing so much hard work. <laughs> just to redo it again, but yeah. faster. Yeah, I guess so. And in a more fun format. Yeah. Okay. There's a little little solid chunk in the middle, but I don't want to overboil this. There's no. Oh yeah, liquid. no, no, that's 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 plenty good. Okay. Okay. Do you want to suck it up? Yes. No, this is kind of hard to get down in there. Sorry, you might not be able to see much. It's okay. We get the general. We generally know how syringes work. Oh yeah, chocolate goop. Chocolate goop. All right. Okay. Let's put it in the split mode. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, here, I'm going to come over here and I'll stir. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Let me just do a dry run where my hand will be. I want to make sure I'm not. Yeah. So if I'm here, I'm blocking. So all I right. think I might need to be here. All right. I'll be over stir here. You that side. Yeah. And yeah. if I go like this. Okay. You can still see. Yeah. You ready? Ready. See if I can get controlled. Whoop. That's okay. There's still drops. So far, so good. Yeah, honestly. Now, it's hard to get like consistent drops out of here. Do with your thumb. Oh, you're right, that's better. Well, kind of. I can't, I can't, I can't really see them anymore. I'm feeling some clinks with my little stirring rod. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the sizes aren't super consistent. Yeah. The ones that I'm seeing, some of them look like really light. I guess it's just like the ice crystals forming. Well, it might be like some air. Oh yeah, it could be air bubbles. So as of right now, I'm not, I'm, here, can, I, can, I try, can I try some? Yeah, yeah, here, let me suck, suction some more up for you. All right. Yeah, because you're, you're getting a lot of squirts. That yeah, was it's, a squirt. It's, it's, yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I, I wasn't going to say that I'm doing better. I just wanted to see what it's like. Interesting. It's difficult to do. Yeah. We do have a pipette as well. That's harder to load, but we have a few different, a few different methods. Whoa. Oh, did it freeze it? Did you put it too deep? No, it just, I, I think that it started to freeze just from the cold air. That's, that's what I meant. That's what yeah. I meant. Did it like freeze? You can hold it higher up. 
Yeah. So this method, I think, is okay. It's workable. It's hard to tell what we've got until we strain them out. But they don't look the most consistent. No. They look kind of like globby. Kind of globby. <clears throat> Let's go and extract them. Fun. Oh, oh yeah, there's some big globs. There's look some at really that, look at that big globs. Big How oh, embarrassing. Oh, big globs. Oh, big globs. Big globs. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go ahead and filter them out, extract them, and then we'll show you what we got. They look like mutants. Yeah. They really, they really just glob together, huh? Where's that one strainer, the strainer that I like? The one that you knocked off? Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> All right, back to safety gloves, and let's see what we got, guys. Yeah. Let's see what the yield is. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so we have a secondary insulated container right here with a filter on top. There they go. That might be all of them. No, there's some that sink to the bottom. I oh, think. okay. I felt them down there. Ooh. Oh, the oh. oxygen meter? Uh -oh. It's, right. it's in the direct path of the... Uh... Yeah. Okay. You know, I'll clip it to my chest. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it was like getting directly hit. Ooh. Oh, you're right. Whoa, there's a bunch down in there. Those, good yield. Those look better. Yeah, that's a good yield. Oh. That noise is great. Oh. oh. There's a bubble. Pour it back into the colder, more insulated container. Okay. Yeah, that was crazy. Just in that little time, it was out of the super It started boiling one, so much more. It started boiling so much more, we lost a lot. Yeah. Okay, well here, I'm gonna store this actually in this really cold refrigerator. Yeah, so it doesn't like crack. Well, it shouldn't crack. It's meant for cold temps. But... Yeah, no, no, just, so just, not... just so that it stays colder and it doesn't boil as much. Oh, smart. The next time we pour liquid nitrogen into it. Smart. Okay, guys, look okay. at this. Oh, yeah. Look at the yield. Look at the yield. Pardon me. So we got some really nice balls. Yeah. And then some big old airy chunks. Yeah. Do you want to try it though? Yeah. Has it has it been out of it long enough to try it? Do we need to like give it any? We should give it some time. Yeah. So we'll just put it in the freezer. We'll cool it down. We'll we'll warm it up. I mean, actually. Yeah. But warm I mean, there it are up. some stuck on here, and they're already starting to melt. I don't want them to go to waste. Oh, me? Yeah. Because I love you so much. This is safe, right? Yeah. They're not too cold. No. Go for it. Mmm. It's so good. Woo! Oh my gosh, Yay! it's really good. Yay! <laughs> it's like, I thought it might be a little like crunchy. Like a little over frozen or something. Yep. It's really good. And I had just tasted the ice cream beforehand. I was also curious if the flavor would like degrade yeah. from the normal ice cream to this. It's so funny. Instead of cooling it down like hot soup, I'm blowing on it to warm it up. Mmm. <laughs> Great balls. Yeah. Mmm. Chat agrees. Delicious. Ch chat says nice bulbs. Bulbs? <laughs> bulbs. <laughs> Great bulbs. <laughs> you can't get here in their ball era. <laughs> You know, another thing that's cool about Dippin' Dots is they're formed in a different way, fundamentally, than normal ice cream, just in terms of their crystalline structure. Because mm -hmm. normal ice cream freezes slowly over time, which leads to larger ice crystals. So when you eat it, there's larger ice crystals they're eating. Liquid nitrogen ice cream forms instantly, so the crystals are super small, so it ends up being a little bit creamier. Mm -hmm. Which I definitely noticed. Do you notice the creaminess? It felt really creamy. Creamy balls. Okay, let me pour a little bit more in. So cool. Look at that. Now that it's pre-cooled, it doesn't boil as much afterwards. Yeah. Open up, Bill. 
in the pre-stream we named this guy Bill. Okay, method number two. Let's try the little condiment bottles. I'm just gonna pour. Yeah, just pour some. It's pour, already pour, like pour, a pour good half time. in there. Like half of what's in here in here. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Maybe I'll try this one. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> okay, let's turn on the split view. I'll have this handy just in case over, over here. here. And let me get the stirrer. So the first one, I think we saw um, Rosanna Pensino using the, the syringes. Uh, syringes. We saw Nate and one other person using these bottles. So we'll see how this does. Ooh, Ooh. that seems like much more individual drops. This is, I think this is already a lot more consistent. I feel like I'm able to control this yeah. process a lot better. As of right now, this is my favorite. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice so little ball action. And I can actually squeeze pretty dang fast. And it still comes out as little balls. And it really looks like, oh yeah, yeah. Wow, look at all of those. I feel them all be bopping around. It's really interesting that these little balls of um, ice cream are boiling the liquid nitrogen because they're so much hotter than I the know. liquid nitrogen. Ooh, that was a stream. Oh yeah, sorry. Well, it'll be it interesting. Is, it is kind of hard to control, like you know, do it at a fast pace in a controlled manner. Yeah. You can really get some like. Decent... Maybe the stream is fine though. I don't know. Or if you did it from like higher up or something, would it? No, we don't want to splash it, but. Ooh, yeah, those are all balls. Okay. Higher up, works. Oh yeah. I definitely feel a bunch down there. Again, it seems like some of the floating ones are the ones that clump. like clump, but I think there's a lot of little ones down at the bottom. Yeah. So if, if we drop slower, we'd probably avoid more clumps. Yeah. But then we'd have to wait longer for dipping dots. I know. All right, I'm going slow. Well, another thing that probably happens is as soon as you get some floaters. Yeah, then it starts sticking. Then like when you drop new ones in, they might join to the floaters. Yeah. Maybe stop stirring actually. I'm just going to try. Yeah, because then you can like aim where there's no balls. Yeah, but still they, they, they're, they're still kind of joining in. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe one thing you can do is like, if there starts being ones floating on top, you like scoop them out. Mmm. Okay. Let's do that. Let's get one more container. Oh, one of these? Mm. Yeah. And I'll just scoop the floaters out. Mmm. <laughs> that one looks like something. Poop? <laughs> no, it oh, looked yeah. like uh, looked like something else. <laughs> Whatever could you be thinking of? Chat says there's a que questionable shape in there. <laughs> there was. <laughs> <laughs> is it a? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> totally is. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> now that the floaters are off to the side, let's just try dipping. And I'm gonna not stir. Wine. Yeah. No, they're still just going over there and joining. Hmm. I wonder why some sink and some float. There's, it's becoming like a caterpillar. Oop, oh. I bumped the camera, sorry. No worries. That was my head. Here, let's uh, stabilize that. Sorry about that. Well, we got a lot of we ones. We got a lot of good ones. We got a lot of ones down there at the bottom. So let's see what that, that, that looks like. Yeah. What turns out? What's the yield? What's the harvest? What's the yield? <laughs> there you go. So far, this is really fun. This is so fun. This is like, like the process itself. It's so satisfying. It's really fun. Yeah, it's really satisfying. All right, let me get out the cooled spare container. Mm hmm. Ooh, crackly. Yeah, the bottom, look at that, super frozen now. Because yeah. it was resting on top of. We don't know, not, we not only have liquid nitrogen here, we also have dry ice. 
Ooh. Oh, that's, that's so mysterious. <laughs> What's the yield gonna be? What's, What's the yield, the yield? gonna be? It's like my brain is so confused because you know how you can hear the difference between hot water and cold water? Mm hmm It sounds more like hot water because it's boiling, but I know it's cold water. Oh, there's the yield. There it is. There's the yield. I see it down there. Uh oh. Is some you stuck? lost a ball. Oh, just one? That's okay. No ball left behind. I haven't ate the ball. Those look much more even. Yeah, those do look more even. Nice. Okay. Look at that yield, you guys. I mean, that just straight up looks like Dippin' Dots. Does. Much better ball size mm -hmm. and distribution. And faster to do, I think. Yeah. More control. All right, let's put this back in here. Wee. Whoa. Oh, whoa. 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 That's not good. That's why we have long pants. Yep. There's a little Dripped spill a of little liquid bit nitrogen. on the table. Is it because? I think the insulation slipped up over the spout. Yeah. We need to push that down. Maybe cut it off. You could try trimming it. There we go. Yeah, it just got in the way of the spout. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Safety number one. <laughs> Unintended chaos by Evan. Okay. Yeah, I think it was there the spout go. interference. Yeah, spout interference. Because I was lifting from the outside and that pushed the it edges off. It shifted it, yeah. So we'll just have to be aware of that. Yeah, I wish I had enough extra um, of this foam to make two of those containers. That would have been best. Mm. But You know, if we do this again. If we do this again, which, you know, <laughs> who knows. <clears throat> Chat had an idea of like doing custom flavored Dippin' Dots, which I mean, if we perfect this method, we could do some really cool flavors that like yeah. you wouldn't be able to buy. So that would be fun. Okay, so let's get a detailed close-in shot of these. Okay, let me uh, just prepare here. I think that those look pretty great, especially these right there. Yeah, there's a few like clumpy lumpies, but there's a lot of really good ones there. Method two, I think, is preferred for this moment. Yeah. Oh, I'm Blow off the steam. Make sure the spoon's not too cold. All right, let's go. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> Did you ah. lose a few? <laughs> okay, it's good. Does it taste the same? Tastes the exact same. Mmm. Great though. I mean, it's it tastes so great. Good. It's so it's, good. At this point, it's more about like which method is easier it's to easier. control and mm -hmm. leads to better balls. Yes, I agree. Now, we do have one more method that is the most... Expensive and expensive. fancy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm excited about it. It's called a separating funnel. And I don't know what it's normally used for, but... I know what we're gonna use it for. We're gonna use it to make controlled dips. <laughs> we're gonna use it to... <laughs> We're gonna use it to drip. We're gonna use it to drip ice cream into liquid nitrogen at a controlled pace without us having to squeeze it at a controlled pace. Yes. Should yes. I melt a little extra? Melt a little extra. Yeah. Because there's there's not a ton left in here. And uh, we got this uh, idea from a channel called T H O I S O I two. So is O I two. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your channel name. So he did that with. Uh, he did it with this dots. with this method. Yeah. Is it okay to like 
remelt this? That has yeah, already probably, been melted? Okay. Probably, yeah. I'll do it really slow like last time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I think like the thing about Dippin' Dots, especially if you've never had them, like because they're so frozen, there's a you little can, bit of a like chew yeah, to can, them. Yeah, you can chew them. Yeah. And that's just cool. Because like it just like stays cold a smidge longer. I don't know. Because it is colder. Because it's, it is colder. It's like 40 degrees colder normally colder. than uh, the normal ice cream. Now, as you can tell, one of the main issues with Dippin' Dots in terms of like it as a business model, it's much more intense to make. You need to use liquid nitrogen to make it. And, and to keep need, it cold, it's so much yeah, more intense. Yeah, you, you need, need dry ice. You need dry ice to ship it and stuff. Or like there, there are specialty freezers that store things at negative 40 degrees and that's what you need to store these. Like, let me show you the inside of our freezer right now. Look at, look at those big chunks of dry ice in there, keeping all of this cold. We probably got a little bit too much dry ice, we just wanted to be safe. <laughs> but um, we did what we had to do to make this happen. A little bit more. A little bit more. You can just stir it. Yeah, let's see. Okay. It was a pretty sizable chunk, it's just right. seven seconds left. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna get the funnel. Yeah, and because like shipping and transportation of this is such a hassle, it just isn't viable all over the all over the place. Mm -hmm. Why all does right. the freezer say refrigerator? Because it's a refrigerator. <laughs> but a refrigerator can be a freezer with enough dry ice. Yes. All right. Do you want to film this, or do you just want to? I'll film it. Show it here. All okay. right. Let's do it, baby. Okay. Will it start dripping immediately? Um. No, I have it turned into the no flow position, I believe. Okay. Yes, correct. <laughs> I'm sorry to all of you chemistry people who think this might be a travesty. <laughs> We're doing chemistry here. Technically. This is chemistry. You could consider it that. A lot of cooking is chemistry. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and clean this up. Move this off to the side. We need like a clean tray and a dirty tray. Yeah, I, I think I can throw away this syringe. I don't think we're going to use the syringes anymore. No, that this can bad. be our dirty tray. Okay. Okay. All right, now this should be pretty relaxing to do. Hands free. All right, come over here, baby. Okay. You ready? Um, I think yeah, I think that we'll just we'll just show this view. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. What you do is you just twist this to release just a small flow. Whoop! A small controlled flow. Seems like too much. Ah! Seems like too much. Oh, that's <laughs> good. Oh, that's good. There it is. Automatic production. We're right, evolving. It's, it's a little bit too much. Oh, too much. Too, too, too slow. Too slow. Oh, two. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're evolving. Oh, heck yeah. I, I think that it's better not stirring it, perhaps. Maybe it is better not stirring it. I mean, there's so much bubbling that, like, it can make sense that we don't need to stir it, you know? Yeah, I turned up the flow rate. There's a big blob coming down. Uh -oh. And there it is. And it increased. I mean, there's that, still that's drops. There's still droplets though. There's still droplets. Like this might be the this might be the process. This could be the best or the worst. We're also doing there's much more ice cream in this, so we can cut it off. <laughs> at any point. I can't really tell like how full it's getting, you know. Automatic balls. Yeah. You're such ballers, thanks. Thanks, chat. I think, I wonder if the balls, like the, the bubbling, actually helps it not form the clumps. I don't know. Because the, the bubbling is like stirring it. Yeah. I'm going to do a little quick. 
Oh yeah, I feel a whole bunch of balls down there. Sounds like little beads. Some of them stuck to the stone. Yeah, I know, I know. That's maybe, okay. maybe we'll turn it down a little bit. I mean, it's working. So cool. Not that you can see much. It's just a lot of smoke, but it's <laughs> cool. Yeah, let, 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 me, let me bring you guys in for some ASMR. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, I'll call it here. Yeah, it seems like a good amount. Ah. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> wrong way, wrong way, <laughs> wrong way. <laughs> All right, we'll wait for that to finish dripping and dropping. Yep. We might need to like paper towel it. Yeah. There you go. It's still gonna drop. Hmm. Hmm. Should we really get like a big cup to like set it in? Or like a big bowl to set it in when we're not using it? I don't trust that. Not with the we'll, glass. We'll, we'll swap it. We'll swap no, it. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, you'll just put the cup there. Yes, Got put it. the cup okay, there. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Time for another transfer. I guess this is another one of the dangerous parts. The Any, transfer? Anytime, anytime you're pouring the yeah. liquid nitrogen back and forth from one container to another, you want to make sure that nothing gets loose. Yeah. And I'm going to push the front layers down this time. Yeah, you, know you I guys can kind do? of see the funnel. Cut it even further? I might even cut it even further. Yeah. Like these three layers right here. Yeah. I might just cut a little V. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Right here. Woo. Crafts within crafts, guys. There we go. <clears throat> yeah. I think that'll be a safer pour spout. Yeah, I agree. Um, we need the all-important catcher. We need a cup. Mm-hmm. And now we see what the yield is. Is it nice little balls or is it a whole bunch of big ugly clumps? Hard to tell till we pour out the bottom. Yeah, so far I'm not seeing any. One thing that's interesting is there's no floaters in this one. It could be the speed at which we were dropping them. It could be like the lack of stirring. Or the height we were dropping them the from. The height, yeah, they were dropped higher. Yeah, but no no floaters, which is interesting. That's, that's good though, because the floaters seem to be the most misshapen ones, yeah. you know? All right, guys. What do we get? What do we get? What's the yield? Oh. Ooh. Oh. I heard one hit the... Oh, 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 one, one fell, oh, it's bouncing. Oh my gosh, I caught it. There it is. I didn't want us to like step on it later. Let's see. Let's see if I can scrape the bottom. Oh, I can see much better when you're pouring like sideways like that. Hmm, okay, I'll do that next time. We're going to have to clean up this, <laughs> this uh, workshop after this. Yeah, definitely. I mean, <laughs> that's the case after any cooking content. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the yield, though. Focus on the yield. It's okay. It's pretty good. Honestly, the... The final result, the consist consistency of the balls looks pretty similar to the, um, the like condiment squirter. It was easier. But it was much easier. And they are individual still. Yeah, they are individual. Yeah. I think both of those methods are pretty good. Yeah. This one might be slightly better though, um, just because there's less big clumps. Yeah. And I'll put this away. So it doesn't melt. And we can put the, um, do you want to put that one back in the fridge? The other container back in the fridge? 
still needed the transfer. Oh. That one sounded a bit crunchy. Extra <laughs> frozen. But maybe a little bit cold. There you go. There we go. Perfect. Hmm. So we have two more flavors to make ice cream balls from. Mm -hmm. We have strawberry mm -hmm. and we have banana. Which do you want to do next? Um, let's try the strawberry. Now, the strawberry and banana ice creams, I really tried to find ones at the store that did not have any chunks. But all I could find were ones with chunks. So <laughs> we're gonna have to like filter those out a bit. Um, the banana has like uh, pecans in it. Mm. So I don't know what's gonna happen if, if a pecan <laughs> sneaks through. <laughs> um, and the strawberry has like chunks of strawberry. Yeah. So, so we'll try to filter those out. Yeah, we'll try to filter those out. But I'm down to, to try one of those next. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna yeah, yeah. do a refill. Top it off. I mean, we might go through more liters of this than I thought. Just, what, because a extra? just because a decent amount evaporates every time you pour it back and forth and you lose some yeah. coldness to the air. Yeah, yeah. And I can feel the air get like cold down here. Like yeah. it's, it's cold down near the floor. Colder, and it's not really like a huge difference. Yeah. But. I want to wipe up the melted, melted little ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> you know. Let's do strawberry next, because that was the one that was in front in the cooler. All right, cool. <clears throat> So, do you want to do it with this? Um, I think so. I'm down. All right, here I'll empty Ooh. the remaining chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Can you wipe the chocolate off my gloves? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's chocolate everywhere. All right, there you go. You know, there might be a little chocolate that gets in with the strawberry or whatever. That's fine. It's fine. It's all getting mixed together in the end. Yeah. Would you need this? Yeah. yeah, that'd be great. Okay, let me just get situated here. All right. Cool. All right. Strawberry. Oh, oh I got haagen -Dazs. I was fancy with this one. Another really cool thing about, whoa, sorry. Sorry, my elbow hit it. <laughs> Another cool thing about like doing this ourselves is we get to choose the ingredients that we're putting in there. Sorry, I wanted to try it. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm. I haven't had strawberry ice cream in a long time, but I needed a baseline. Mm. Yeah. Good. Well, now, now, now good. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin says something revolutionary on today's stream. Ice cream is good. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, baby. That's amazing. I know. That's so good. Why don't we have strawberry ice cream more? I don't know. It's really mm. good. Now, mm. some of the chunks are pretty tiny. Some of the chunks are bigger. Mm. Are you gonna Are you going to film me scooping chunks? So just right. melt and refreeze ice cream. There's no special dip and dots formula. No. We are really. gonna we are gonna later on try. Um, we should look at their ingredients list when we when we compare. We should. Yeah. We are gonna. Um, I think it's a good amount to start with. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try making like from scratch dip and dots, um, where we use like homemade ice cream ingredients, and we'll see if that makes any difference. Do, 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 do. Now, how uh, how long do you cook those for? Ten seconds at a time for thirty seconds. Yeah. Needs more. I just don't want it to go longer because 
Like the microwaves <clears throat> don't cook things or don't heat things evenly. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah. What about frozen yogurt dots? I don't know if those would be the same. Well, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. All right, here, let's look. <clears throat> Are you gonna strain out the chunks? I think so. I think that's, I think that's melted enough. Okay. Okay. Now should we strain into another cup? Because there's some pretty sizable chunks. Yeah, let's strain into another cup. I have a strainer. Right here. Proceed. Chunks. Yeah, that's some that's some significant chunkage right there. Those chunks would definitely throw us off. And here, you can just set that here. Yeah. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> Wanna hold this? Yeah. <clears throat> Clean strawberry ice cream. Filtered, pure. Okay. Now there's still chocolate in there. Are we gonna like let the chocolate um, yeah, continue, or are you gonna rinse it out? No, I think it's fine. I, no, it, um, that's just the foam left over. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are we sure it's just the foam? Because yes. it looks like it. Okay. Yes. This is coating the outside. I looked inside. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. It's time for strawberries. Let's do split. Split top. Split top. I'm gonna get a drink too. Mm. Ice cream makes you thirsty. It does. It's like kind of like thick. <laughs> okay. Let's start the dropping procedure. First, we have chocolate and strawberry mixed. <laughs> Mostly chocolate. Strawberry's coming. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Oh, oh yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, strawberry's coming. There's the strawberry. Now, for some reason, they're these bigger are, balls. They're bigger balls, and they're all sitting on top. Let's maybe wait for it to settle. Maybe we're getting the foamy stuff first. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because <clears throat> it's super foamy. Should we just scoop those out? Yeah, I'm just gonna scoop these out. These are some. These are are some... those rejects? Should they go in a reject cup? Whoa! Look at that, guys. Whoa! I mean, it still probably tastes great, but. I'm just gonna wait for them to stop bubbling. Because that tells me that they're fully frozen. Waiting montage. Oh, and it's starting to sink. Okay, I'm going to capture you. All right, I'm scooping a little bit of liquid nitrogen in here too, just because I can't avoid it, because I'm mm -hmm. using a spoon. So that means that these are super dangerous. We won't eat those. We will not eat those until all of the liquid nitrogen is released. We'll set these aside. Yeah. Danger. Danger balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah, let me get over here. Okay. Okay, let me try, Let's try that. this again. I wonder if it could also be that pouring the strawberry through the strainer like aerated it or something. We're gonna keep it dropping really slow for now. See if those sink. Because right now they're all floating. Yeah. Will you drop now? You dropping? <laughs> Your balls need to drop. <laughs> hey, in the meantime, we have a big flex. Let me see. <clears throat> Do we have two big flexes? We have two big flexes. You want to get some big flexes? Okay, they're, they're starting to drop a little bit. 
We'll let this go for a little bit at a nice, slow and steady pace. Or maybe I'll stir just a tiny bit. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll try to monitor this and, and... Should make one long one, a Dippin' Dot snake. <laughs> Seems not as bubbly. I think it's just because we're dropping them slower, so yeah. there's not as much hot in comparison to ice cream hitting it. Are the chocolate and strawberry different brands? They are. The strawberry is Hagen dazs and I got that one because it seemed to have the smallest chunks. The chocolate is H-E-B Creamy Creations. So that could be part of it too. Different brands. Um, I'm going to get a couple big flexes from Totally Not Nay. I feel like the dropping ice cream could splash the liquid nitrogen. Y'all be careful, wear your gloves. We are trying to be careful. Yep. Um, the splashes don't seem to be coming out. Luckily, this is a very controlled thing, but we appreciate the safety concern. And we are trying to be very careful. Thank you so much for the big flex. Totally Not Nay. I'm flexing over here. And then we also have a big flex from... Ace of Hearts. Hey, Ian K, my first big flex. Thanks. Thank you so much for everything. The two of you are a huge inspiration for me. Not only that, but you've helped me out a bunch with my depression and anxiety. Made some great friends in this community who are very dear to me now. So thank you. Also, I have news. We have officially adopted Snap, the puppy we're fostering. Love you both. Oh, that's yeah, so awesome that's to so be cute. here. Thank you so much, Ace of Hearts. Big flex, Ace of Hearts. And congrats on your official adoption of Snap. Chat's suggesting faster. We could try going even faster. All right. All right, let's try it. Any of there's like so, like some slightly big balls, that's fine. I don't mind if the balls are bigger as long as they're not like clumpy. Yeah. Try to break up the clumps as they happen. Mm. I also saw some concern about me using like a, a metal thing. The reason why I'm using metal, aluminum specifically, is because I want to um, use something that won't break apart in here. I want to use something sanitary. Um, but the good thing about aluminum is since it radiates heat out so much, up here it's not cold at all. It doesn't, the cold only reaches to down there, so we're good. It's like they're taking longer to freeze this time. Yeah, it's like they're taking longer to freeze. I think that's completely correct. Chad also was slightly nervous about you not having a glove on your stirring hand. Hmm. Yeah. That's a, that's a fair point. I've literally poured liquid nitrogen onto my desk and washed it drip onto my feet and it was completely fine. Just don't submerge your hand on it. <clears throat> For brief contact, it is true that like it's, there'll be an effect where it boils so it keeps it away. So there's like a limited amount of safety there, but it's still good yeah. to be on and the Kim safe Maglian side. And Kim says you don't typically wear gloves when working with liquid nitrogen. Mm. Yeah, it seems like most people just use it when they're pouring. Yeah, or like when seen. they're dealing with like a larger stuff, yeah. quantity where like, yeah. like a tiny little splash is much different than getting like a full stream across you. Grandpa Mott says, yo, how the dots going? Thank you for the thousand bits. Dots are going pretty dang well, honestly. Ooh, look at that. Okay, now, now things are going. Now things are going. It is interesting though how the strawberry is acting totally different totally from the different. chocolate. Yeah. It's a different formulation. Yeah. <clears throat> You look like the babies in the forest. <laughs> oh no, and I'm gonna eat them and they're gonna be delicious. <laughs> Tig, thank you for the gifted sub. Sounds like you're sharing iced tea, yeah. Yeah. But like, but also with the boiling noise. It's confusing yeah. to your brain. I know. You know, I'm sure it'll be delicious regardless. Mm, I've heard from a science friend that wearing gloves with liquid nitrogen can be Dangerous in the case where it gets inside your, your gloves, mm, whereas yeah. the little splashes are okay. Yeah, so it sounds yeah. like only use them when pouring like large quantities, which is yeah. what we've been doing. Yeah. That's what we seem to gather from our research. It's like a party, party hot tub in there. I know. All right, I think that's probably enough. Sure. All right, we'll wait for these to cool the rest of the way. This is gonna be a very different yield. I know. <clears throat> Slippery. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy seeing it smoking. I know. Like magic wand. 
Okay. The strawberry must have been hotter it. at the start. Maybe. We heated yeah. it up for the same amount of time. Wow. Here, I'm going to switch back to... Oh, you know what? What? The strawberry could have been hotter. Here's why. Why? We heated them both up for the same amount of time. Yeah. But the chocolate one, we did two other attempts before we did this attempt. So it had cooled to room temp. Oh. So... The strawberry was hotter than the chocolate when we put it in here. Sorry, mm. I, I couldn't, didn't have room to get over, so I've yeah, just been like, yeah. talking right here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's an interesting thing to consider. We should maybe, after, when we do the banana, or if we try the strawberry again, we should microwave, like, like it, microwave melt it. it, melt it, and then let it cool again. Let it cool a little bit again. Mm. Put an ice cube in there. Yeah, because the, the, the closer it drink. is to freezing, the better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because this one was definitely warmer, which would explain. Mm. Yeah, because this one doesn't look that great, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I'm sure it'll taste nice, but it doesn't look as nice as the chocolate. <clears throat> hey, you know, we learn in here. We're learning here. We're learning here. Should I get another strawberry melting? Uh, get, get a banana melting. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to okay. need to go get more cups for straining. <clears throat> Let's do the pour first. And let's, uh, let's, let's melt it, and then it can cool again while you get the other cup. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's get the extra container. The nice pre-chilled container. Yes. We will get the strainer. <laughs> you know, you're not, you haven't activated it yet. Oh. <laughs> JK. All right. And now we will carefully pour. And you said pouring from this side is better. I can see a little bit better. Okay. But do um, whatever feels most secure. Oh, no, that's fine. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Woohoo, cold air. There's a big yield at the bottom. I might do it in two pours. Yeah. I feel like we had a lot of strawberry in there. Yeah. I mean, it's still pouring in nicely. Yeah, it is. And like, they're, they're not as big as I feared, honestly. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's the goods. There's a lot. Yeah, I'm going to get the, uh... The stick? The stick. I can also get a, like, spoonchula. If that would be a little easier. It's silicone. I think that would be okay. I think at the bottom, we're also just getting some standard ice. Got it. Yeah. I think I might throw out this, because a lot of it's just ice. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's not good. Yeah. We don't want that day Contaminating. Yeah. Okay, so we'll toss this in the trash can. Mm hmm Probably shouldn't tap that. <laughs> it's a fresh bag. Okay. I got a fresh <laughs> bag for this stream. <laughs> All right, now we'll pour this back into the more insulated one. I think they're just doing it like faster, more like, like commit to it and just like. For the pour? For the pour. I think that's like kind of the safest instead of being timid. Okay. Well, here we go. I think I'm down to like save the taste test of these for towards the end. What do you think? Uh, sure. You mean like once we combine them all into yeah. the Dippin' Dots banana strawberry chocolate flavor? Yes. I'm down. Speaking of banana, let's try some banana. Is it weird that this 
didn't have like a seal on it? Did the chocolate one have a seal on it? Yes. The banana one didn't have a seal on it. Has somebody licked this ice cream? Was it you? It was not me. It'll be fine, right? <laughs> It'll probably be fine. It'll probably be fine. Are we about to get poison? You know what's weird? Huh. Look at that. It's like a fluffy lump. I think we should rinse it. That means that there'll be some ice in there, though. Oh, that's a good point. Hmm. I know. This is only not weird because it's me and you, but... people. There's definitely going to be a little bit of saliva in there. Oh, you got it! Heck yeah! Yeah, baby! That's the way. That's the That's way. That's the way. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds is, wrong. Don't worry about it. Is it a little bit weird? Yeah. But, <laughs> you know. Oh, Caitlin's audio. Oh, we uh, our audio. Caitlin was cutting out. Weird. Weird. When? When I was blowing? Yeah, when you were blowing. Weird. Caitlin's audio is bad. Is it better now? Yeah, is it better now, guys? <laughs> hmm. Yes. Strange. I wonder if it was like something. It was, like it was when it was, it was maybe when you had the wireless close to you. It's been sw close switch to, you the to whole mobile time. mobile cam again. Okay, test test. Is Caitlin audio bad during mobile cam? Is it test test? Is it mobile cam? <clears throat> yeah. Is Caitlin when she gets louder excited? Oh, I was peeking? No, I was clipping. Peeking or clipping? <laughs> You're squeaking. Yeah, mobile only. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, because this is, these are the mics we use when I'm normally filming. I'm definitely not yelling more than normal. <laughs> I mean, it's usually <laughs> fine. Well, we can always like, you know, pull the backup audio just in case. Yeah, we it's can only when it. you're, okay. Seems yeah. only when you're doing mobile. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, first up, <laughs> we're going to do a refill. Blah. I'm going to try this banana ice cream. Mm. Can I, can I have? It's good. I don't know if I would like, do you want me to spoon feed yes. you? I'm going to nut in there. I don't know if I would like go to my way to buy banana ice cream. But I can, I think with the strawberry and chocolate, it'll be good. Yes. I agree with that. But it's that. still good. Exactly. It's still ice cream. <clears throat> but it's not as good as the other one. Mm -hmm. Honestly, chocolate and the strawberry were amazing. Yeah. Banana's okay. I think it just tastes like a little bit more artificial. Mm -hmm. But again, combined, I think it's going to be really what, good. That's how you get the banana split. Exactly. That's where it's at. Mm -hmm. What brand? This is creamy. Creations, the H-E-B brand. So, generic. Same as the chocolate. Yeah. Evan, the plug. The plug. The oh, plug. the plug. Mm, thanks, guys. <clears throat> um, I think it'll be really interesting. You heat that up, I'm going to get another cup. Yeah, I think it'll be really interesting letting this cool a bit after heating it. Here, I'm gonna leave the um, oxygen monitor on you. Thank you. Hi, train! Thank you guys for the hi, train. Maru, thank you for another gifted sub. Okay. I'm gonna be back and forth between here and the computer. And welcome anyone who's here for the first time. I see Gin Dragon, it's their first live stream. Cut out again? Clipping is still happening when you're loud. Okay, guys, this is gonna be a calm ASMR stream. And um, we're just gonna have a nice relaxing time. If you need to uh, listen to this to go to sleep, I'll do my best to be really relaxing. Can't hear you now. 
Yeah, I'm not good at being calm. ASMR ice cream. I got some ice cubes too. Let me turn on my mic. I, I thought about that, but I, I don't want the ice cubes melting into the ice cream. Don't want to dilute it oh, with water. Oh, you should get my, my little ice cubes in the, my reusable ice cubes. Yes, yes. There's yellow ones for banana. <laughs> right, I'm just going to grab whatever I grab. Okay, you know where they are, right? Top of the freezer. Oops. I only meant to let this go for 10 seconds at a time. It's bubbling. Is that okay? Hmm. Hopefully it's okay. I'll ask Evan. It's still like cool. Yeah, it's not hot at all. It's still like cool to the touch. Yellow ice cube sounds like a bad idea. You have a multi-pack of like colored, like the reusable ice cubes. You know what I got them for? I got them for my boba. Cause I, I don't like super cold boba cause I, I like, I feel like it makes the balls like too chewy. Um, I did grab the other ones. <laughs> thank you. And, um, but I do like to make it a little bit cold sometimes, but I don't want the ice to like water it down. Go ahead and pour it in. So this is the warmed up. Yeah, now cream. I touched it. It's like colder than room temp. Go ahead and pour it in though, just in case. We should have strained it. No, we're gonna strain it from, oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it would have just saved a step. Yeah, true. That's fine. We'll strain the ice cream, well, ice, ice balls out. Ice yeah. Ice balls. We'll just, yeah. It's just a little bit less efficient. Yeah. Good thing we have a bunch of these cups. Do you know where the strainer is? Oh, your mic. No. Um, this is the strainer. No, no. Oh, this strainer. It's on the cup still. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, we'll just strain. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to clean that. We'll use another strainer. We'll use this strainer. There's a big strainer. This is the biggest strainer. And bananas on the rocks. All right, do you want to film? Mm. All right, so this okay. is the cooled banana mixture. And we're going to be pouring it into the strainer. Look at my ice cubes. They're on theme. Woo. All right, I think that's good. Yeah, we'll have to keep in mind that we like, we'll lose some ice cream to the ice cubes. Yeah. <clears throat> I think that's acceptable. Yeah. Can I have another paper towel? Yeah. Okay, now we have filtered, strained, and cooled banana ice cream liquid. <laughs> So many cups. Brookie Berry, thank you so much for the thousand bits. We appreciate it. And thank you, it's a hype train. And thus we have the last component needed to make the banana split ice cream, the fabled yes. banana split ice cream. Are you ready? I'm ready. Banana split is our favorite flavor of the Dippin' Dots. That's why we're doing this. That's why we're doing it all. You ready? Yeah. Let's see if the cooling helped. We didn't leave it on ice for that long, but it was like just as much ice cube volume as, <gasps> oh, they're tinier, tinier balls. <clears throat> Try going for the more aggressive. Yeah, because we were pace. pretty aggressive with the chocolate. There you go. <clears throat> I think that's doing it. Yeah. And they're the tinier balls this time too. Yeah. It's happening. It's Could happening. Could be the brand too. Could be the brand too. Because these two were creamy creations. The HEB brand. I'm going to go even more ham. I put the liquid ice cream in the vacuum chamber to remove air. Oh my gosh. That would actually be so smart. Do you want to try it? Oh my gosh. I mean, we've only been recording for like an hour. We could try it. What do you want to, what do you, what flavor do you want to try it with? The, the strawberry? Try it with the strawberry. Well, we're starting to get some pretty big clumps here with the yellow. We could also try it with a banana. Oh. oh. I think I, when I'm standing, it's like closer to like the smoke. Yeah. Mm. 
And we can open up more doors and windows if we need to. But it is, it is reassuring to have this here mm -hmm. with us. Because right, this is your face level. Yeah. We're getting some pretty big chunks, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's not a good thing. I mean, no, baby. <laughs> I thought you said good chunks. We're, we're getting some pretty big chunks. Oh, big chunks. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we could try um, the dropper. Like, I'm just, sorry, I'm just, the, the squirty bottle again. Yeah. I'm just going to turn up, turn up the intensity. I'm down to try the squirty, the squirty again. I'm down to vacuum it. Vacuum sounds fun. That sounds fun. Okay, this is pretty much done. We've never vacuumed ice cream before. Should I start um, melting? Yeah. Uh, do you want to dry strawberry? Okay. Yeah. Or we could do banana, because then it's like, we don't have to rinse it out. Yeah, let's do banana then. Yeah, yeah good idea. Ooh, guys, more science equipment. Yeah. Okay, we'll turn off the faucet. And I'll get some more banana melting. All right, I'll let that just cool. One thing I might do is I might combine the different chocolate ones. Oh no, one chocolate is definitely better than another. Combine whatever is good. Maybe I'll just toss the one chocolate that, that isn't good. Yeah. Because we have two chocolates that are good. Yeah. I think this is a good amount. I don't want it to like overflow. A little more. A little more. Yeah. Ooh, this is going to be fun. It's going to be fun, you guys. Vacuum chamber. All right. Well, one thing that we can do, this chocolate that's been sitting in here, it's warmed up to an acceptable temperature right here. And this is very safe to eat. And I don't want it to go to waste. <laughs> it just turns Ooh. into us eating ice cream. It's so much better warmed up in the uh, dry ice fridge. <laughs> warmed up in the dry ice fridge. Warmed up to negative 40. There's a little bit of crunch from like where like the, mm. where like some ice condensed mm. or something. Mm. Isn't that so good though? It's really good. Okay, well. So I actually, I kind of like it when I let it sit on the spoon for a minute. Mm -hmm. You drop mm -hmm. an ice cream ball? Mm -hmm. That's right there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, let it warm up on the spoon a little bit. Yeah, my bite was like a little too cold. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it was fine. It didn't like hurt or anything, but it was like crunchier. Mm -hmm. I like it best when it's not crunchy. All right, we'll leave this sitting out for a bit and see how long it stays Heck yeah. good. And, and when, when, when is the optimal time to eat it? Yeah. Okay. Well, while that goes, should we do a little transfer? Doing uh, multiple things at once. Well, yeah, what are we transferring? Oh, no, we can't, we can't uh, extract it yet because we have, um, oh, no, we can use this. What do we do? This container. I just want to extract the, uh, the yield. Oh, yeah, we haven't, we haven't checked out the yield yet. We're just no. trying to be so efficient. Okay. We have a yield cup ready. Okay. Just six more seconds. Exciting. Okay. Yeah, time for the banana yield. <laughs> this is so frosty. I know. It has been in a dry ice. I think this is where all the ice is coming from because when you pour it in here, this gets a lot of condensation on it. So that's where the ice is coming mm. from, accumulating from. Okay, ready? Yes. Whoa! Extra bubbly. Oh yeah, I see a lot in there. Oh, I see a lot in there. All right. I'm sorry, I'll pour it this way. Oh, that's fine. Ooh. 
Good, good crunchy yield. Mm-hmm. Heck yes. Okay. There's a little stock on the bottom, but that's okay. That's fine. Good Delicious. amount. Not, not the best shape. Again, kind of like the strawberry. Yeah, but that's why we're going to do an experiment. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like cheese. <laughs> it does kind of look like cheese. It does a little bit look like cheese. You know what's so crazy? Hmm. Look at this. It's so cold, you can like pour out the nitrogen. Weird. You can pour out the really cold nitrogen. Yeah, pour it again. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. That's cool. Wow. Anyways, that's neat. The ice creams are definitely more aerated after going through the sieve slash strainer. Might be why they're floating. Yeah, the, the strainer could be it too, because that does aerate things. Yeah. I mean, those still look like, they're bigger, but they're still like little chunks. They're still individual chunks. They're just not as pretty, I think, because they're floating at the top for longer. Yeah. And like deforming at the top. Yeah. We could try. Um, well, first off, I want to try. This has been sitting out here for like five minutes. They're still really rattly balls. Too crunchy. Mm. Wait even longer. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, open up. Come on, Bill. It's time to give us more nitrogen. <laughs> it is so weird. This is liquid, like liquid gas, yeah. right? weird. It is weird. Oh, I forgot Bill's stopper. <laughs> Bill's plug. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> <It's a> plug. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yeah, let me get that. Yeah. We'll clean this later. Yeah, everything's gonna be real sticky out here. Yeah, I made this rig out of like camera parts. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it if I where turn does, it. Where does one even get liquid nitrogen? At a welding supply store is where we yeah. got it. It's not that expensive. It was 30 bucks for it to fill this entire six liter thing. So not that bad, I think. Yeah. All right, so it is, uh, <clears throat> we have the, uh, oh, sorry, pardon me. Can you hold these cables up? Yes. All right. We have the melted um, uh, banana, but we haven't strained it yet. No, we haven't strained it. We should strain right, it before strain it, strain it first. I don't think we need to film it again. No. I mean, they know how straining works. Yeah. Okay. Good no. yield. Good yield. Right. Pecans. All right, now we're gonna put this ice cream liquid inside of our vacuum chamber. I'm gonna pull the, uh, oh, pardon me. Mm. We're getting real scientific with Here this. Here we are. <laughs> All right, get, get the camera ready. All right, we're pulling the vacuum. Yep, it's going. Oh, it's raising. It's raising. It's going up. Oh, yeah. All right, the, this is um, banana flavored ice cream Pancake liquid. Pancake batter. <laughs> and we're trying to degas it. Oh my Ooh, gosh, oh my gosh. It's oh crazy, it expands that much. I know, it's so fast too. Don't explode, don't explode. We, we promise no explosions in this episode. No explosions. Yeah. But we have Cooking with Kate rating. Welcome everybody. Welcome. We're just um, putting some melted ice cream in the vacuum chamber. <laughs> <laughs> 
We noticed that when we poured it into the liquid nitrogen, it was very bubbly and, it, and, and, and uh, we don't want that. We want it to sink in the liquid nitrogen. My uh, audio is cutting out with the mobile cam again. It's so, so weird. weird. Yeah, we don't have any suppression or anything on it. Um, anyways, welcome Raiders. Um, we're making liquid nitrogen Dippin' Dots today. Um, so we have some liquid nitrogen in here. We have a dropper that we put ice cream into. And we were noticing our most recent batch was a little like, seemed a little foamy. Oh gosh. <laughs> Makes me nervous. <laughs> you see how full he lets it get. So we thought we'd put it in the vacuum chamber to like vacuum out the bubbles. The thing is like, there's a lot of bubbles. Is it gonna go infinitely? Should we just like put it in like a massive bucket? There's a lot of bubbles, it's a lot guys. Of bubbles. It's, maybe if I like let it let it collapse. And then do it again. And then do it again. It's cutting out now too. Yeah, so it's not just immobile. I think it's just when I get loud. It's so weird. Yeah. I could I could mess with it live. <laughs> That's called overrun. Cheap ice creams can be up to 100% overrun, which is why they're so cheap. Hagen Dazs is about 35% overrun, more ice cream per pint. Oh, so there was a weird noise suppression. Oh. I had noise suppression on. I don't want oh, noise suppression. You did. Okay, I turned noise suppression off. It's also interesting. So there's been several people that say they haven't had any audio issues. Um, all right, well, I turned noise suppression off. Let's mm -hmm. see if that helps. Yeah. <clears throat> I forgot that I had here. it on. My dad's here. Well, I see somebody saying hi to him. And so, there he is. Hello, turtly children. Letting Evan hear a jug of liquid nitrogen is very brave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of people said it's not cutting out. Oh, Caitlin sounds better. It sounds completely different now. Instant change. Interesting. <clears throat> Well, the good thing Way is... Way better. Oh, sorry, it's been bad, guys. Well, the good thing is that has been getting the pure audio the whole time, so we can extract that for the VOD. Yeah, we'll have to do that for the VOD. Mm. Interesting. I think this has gotten more bubbly. It'll just be extra foamy. Interesting, it sounded muffled before. K is louder now. Interesting. <clears throat> well, sorry, sorry if it was annoying before. We can hear the vacuum chamber now. Oh, before they couldn't hear the vacuum chamber. Oh, wow. It was like cutting out that much noise. <clears throat> That's weird. It was too noise suppressed. Can you um, put on your um, stream checklist to check for... Um... Well, I, I just turned it off. I deleted it. So oh, it'll okay. never be on again. Oh, okay, cool, cool. <clears throat> I probably turned it on when I was doing all the audio tests and I just forgot. Mm. Shamgar, oh my gosh, thank you for 60 months of subbage. 60 months. Oh my God, you're letting it go so far. You guys. <laughs> Look at those. Oh hey, my gosh. I pushed it to the limit and it's working. It's collapsing on itself. I mean, you want it to collapse on itself. There it is. Oh, oh, oh yeah, there oh, we go. Oh, it's going, guys. Oh, oh it's yeah. going. Oh, That's it's going. what we want. Heck yes. Look at that go. Whoa, whoa, yeah. That is some violent bubbling. <clears throat> oh, it's gonna be so interesting to try this one. Like, is it gonna be denser? I'm not sure. Oh, once it's done bubbling, we should scoop the foam off the top. Oh, yeah, we should. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there might still be some foam on the top when it's done. Wow. When we've degassed resin and concrete and other things, like it's not this violent. This is violent. It's yeah. rapid. It's violent. Yeah. I think because other things are, have been thicker. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think so. Wow. Interesting. You can check the relative <clears throat> densities of ice cream, but weight, similar volumes of each ice cream and comparing. Oh yeah. <clears throat> It may taste or feel different because part of what makes ice cream is the air in it. Oh. Interesting. What's the missing poster behind Caitlin? You guys are so observant. It was it's just our um our YouTube plaque. No no. Oh, oh, I thought they said I thought they saw the nail and they were like, what poster is missing? 
the missing poster. It's a. Uh, Are we going to reveal that we uh, borrowed this? We borrowed this. This is Nugget. Nugget's missing. <laughs> this is from uh, Open Sauce last year, which you guys should go to this year. Yeah. Um, it was super fun last year. Yeah. We'll be there again. I just saw my dad gifted 50 subs. Woo! Thank you, Dad. Thank, Thank you. you. Let me put up the Nugget poster. Thanks, Dad. Thank you for the support. 50 gifted. Also, an update on the ice cream. Look at this. It's still going so much. Isn't that insane? What's going on? Is it going to bubble forever? I don't know. It's just so violent. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know, man. <laughs> That's freaky. Thank you so much, Dad, for the 50 gifted. Dad says snort. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Eternal vacuum chamber? It's splashing too. We're gonna have to wipe down the vacuum chamber. Should I get some like spray? We'll do, put, put on to do us to do later. Just like clean entire workshop, including vacuum chamber. Yeah, I'll write it down. I think this is gonna be internally going. It's like creating bubbles and removing them at the same time. I mean, at some point it has to run out of air. How much do we need? I mean, we've gotten rid of so much air though. Like we right. could stop at any point I think and we'll it would stop. be, okay. Because I haven't noticed any decrease in the past, like, two minutes. Okay. Ooh, 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 but look at that. We can't look. You have the camera over there. Oh, back here. I don't know. What was it? Look at that. Ooh, that looks pretty smooth. It looks really smooth now. Mm. There you go. And there isn't any foam on top. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is really dense liquid, much yeah. denser. Yeah, it looks more like milk. Yeah. Than like a melted milkshake. Okay. Oh yeah, this is much more um, solid. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm so I think, curious about. I think this is going to make a big difference. This is a this is a very different mixture. Yeah. Okay. I'm so curious. Ready? Split top. Engage. Will it no, drop it might, to the bottom? It might be a little foamy at the very bottom. Woo! Oh, oh you have to like adjust the thing because it's probably going to flow more freely. Oh yeah, it's flow. Oh, it's, it's, this is acting completely different. It's just flowing freely. Look at that. That's Can crazy. Can we turn it down? Whoa! It's a, it's just like there's less friction, so it was just like flowing. And it's boiling more vigorously again. Yeah. I mean, that just could be, could, that just, that could be because. <laughs> Words. <laughs> that could be because we released so much into it at the beginning. Wow. It's actually kind of harder to control a precise amount. I think because it wants to flow more. Because yeah. the foam makes it a little bit more viscous. Yeah. Oh, no stopper in the, um, did we forget the stopper? That's okay. okay. We don't really need it, I don't think. Okay. Whoa. Oh, the funnel's still at the top? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. There you go. You see, like, what's going on? I think that's what people meant when they said the stopper. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the funnel. I think some people are saying that the, the stopper might change the flow of it because you can control how much air goes in and everything. I'm not sure. Oh, OK. I think it's working pretty well, though. Mm-hmm. It's weird that like I open it and it goes in like a spurt and then it slows down again. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a stream. <laughs> I'm turning into dots. Idea? Okay. Oh yeah, just kind of dots at the bottom there. Yeah, by the time it gets to the bottom. Huh? Oh now they can hear the bubbling too. Oh you guys couldn't hear the bubbling? Oh yeah, here. Oh yeah. The noise suppression. Yes. Oh. Oh, it's going. Vigorous. It's looking pretty nice, though. Here, let me, let me zoom you guys in.
There are, far, are a few big chunks floating around in there, but there's a lot of little ones. Yeah. Definitely less pumps when not stirring. That's crazy. Yeah, people couldn't hear it before when we did this. Sounds like eggs frying. It's like a whole new stream. <laughs> Good ASMR now. <laughs> Potion making class. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, let me zoom this out. Oh, I, I hear a rich so harvest. So many, yeah. It seems Here, like wait. a good yield. Let me bring you in again. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good harvest. So many new sounds. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll, well the, the VOD will get the good sound. And from here on out, it should be good sound. Oh, mm. this plug? Yeah. Okay. Well, um... I do think we... this would make a difference. Oh my gosh, Caitlin. We let what? this sit for too long. <gasps> oh, they Have melted. You the video? We let this sit for too long. Oops, sorry. Oops. Are we going to break it? All right, press it again. We let it sit too long, and look. It melted. Oh. Sag. Saggy melted balls. It was this, it's just melted ice cream now. Hmm. Still kind of tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, in the true harvest, we'll have to not walk away from it for so long. Mm-hmm. The sad chocolate soup. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, saggy. Saggy was an interesting word choice. They were sagging. They were melting. Droopy. Deflated. Droopy. <laughs> 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 yeah, Chad is questioning your um, use of words there. <laughs> That's Come your on. next t-shirt? Dad says saggy balls is our next t-shirt. <laughs> Well, I think that we can put the, the vacuum chamber away. <clears throat> I think we proved, well, we'll soon really know for sure whether or not it makes a difference. Yeah. But I don't think we need to do it again. Okay. Let's yield it, baby. Let's check out the yield. I'm assuming it... nitrogen tastes like nothing. It's all yes. evaporated by the time we taste it. So. Yeah. So, quick question, baby. Yeah? Is this the last yield we're going to have? No. Because we have the right. DIY version. The DIY version. Okay. This is why we have the oxygen meter. <laughs> it's funny because you're just pouring a tiny stream, but it seems like a waterfall. Oh, look at that yield in there, you guys. Look at the yield. Oh, it's coming. Yes. That looks like a good yield Ooh, to me. Oh, yes. Oh, no, this is Dippin' this Dots is, level. This is Dippin' Dots level. Yeah. Wow. No, 100%. Wow, this is Dippin' Dots worthy. Yeah, that looks really this good. This looks really good. This is one of the best ones yet. Okay. Look at that. Okay, the vacuuming did make a difference. I think as the microwaving agitates it. Yeah. And foams it, and you don't want foamy liquid. Yeah. But also us doing it, I think it was um, even more so on the ones that we had to strain. Yeah. The straining aerates things. Um, just dropping balls everywhere. Can I have the... Here's a little frozen cluster at the bottom. Let's see yeah. if. Let me get, we're just going to have to clean Mom. after this. No, there's a lot of ice in there. No, we don't want that. I'll to, just throw it in the trash. Yeah. Ooh. That does look good. Ooh, we should taste this one by itself to see if it's different after the vacuum chamber. I do, I do think we should taste this one by itself. 
We should taste the before and after. Can you uh, clean up right down there? Um, I just mean like we should taste this one because it's the only one we vacuumed. We've already tasted like. We haven't tasted the um, non-vacuumed. Banana? Uh, banana. We could taste both. Yeah. I think we should let this warm up first. Yeah, yeah. Just not too much. Just not too much, yeah. No, this is way better than the first one. Wow. I think the best way to let it warm wow. up is just to put a little bit in a spoon. Yeah. Here, let's transfer Once, this back. Yeah, after we transfer. I think this is where a lot of the uh, a lot of the ice chunks are coming from, from in here. Yeah. I might actually. I mean, we could let it defrost and dry it out. We'll lose a bit more liquid nitrogen, but. Yeah, there's a lot of ice crystals in here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, wow. that's where all the ice crystals are coming from. Yeah. But let's just throw the ice crystals away. I mean, the ice. It's just ice. Yeah, it's like snow. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. And I think all of this is coming from the air. Yeah. That's why, I think that's why it's so fine, you know? It's just like, it's just so a... cold that when you, you have this in the air, the, the, um, What's it called? Humidity. Humidity. It's condensing and instantly freezing. Yeah. And that's why it's so fine, because it's just like a water droplet suspended in the air. You know, it did keep it cooler. Um, but yeah, the cost of ice crystals at the bottom. Scrape noise, bad ASMR. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it out and defrost it some. Yeah. Shall we try banana versus banana? Should we try strawberry first? Well, yeah, we probably should have tried the strawberry right after we did it. Okay. If we were going to do that. Okay, right. well, let's, let's try the strawberry. <laughs> okay. And then we'll do banana versus banana. All right. Wow, chunky. Really chunky. Really chunky. So crunchy. Mmm. Tasty though. Yeah. Yeah, definitely tasty. Very flavorful. I'm gonna let mine warm up a second. <sighs> <laughs> Hold on just one second. Let me put it in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. It's melting though. Okay, good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Right? That's Tasty. really good. Also, my method worked perfectly. You should try it. Just put it in the mouth cave, the hot mouth cave for a minute. Put my gloves to transfer these. That's smart. Okay. Look at the difference between, between these two, two yields of bananas. Let me see if I can guess which is which. <laughs> Not vacuumed, vacuumed. Well, it's like, I, I might even hold this up to the macro camera. Because like, I don't know, yeah, you can see. You see how chunky these are versus how like perfectly round these are? They're so much more round yeah. and fine. Even though we still have some size variation in the vacuumed one, this one, they're just kind of like lumpy yeah. and clumpy. And like rough. And rough. So this. This is the vacuum. I'm excited to try the difference. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited to see if there's a difference in the texture. I imagine that there would be. That makes sense to me. Oh, we have a merch giveaway. Lauren gifted a Words Are Hard floral sticker. Thank you so much, Lauren. Also, if you guys want to try our, want to try, want to get any items from our Words Are Hard floral merch drop, they're available until March 30th. And the original Words Are Hard Floral was our most popular design. We released it in a few different colors, um, or a new that set of colors, and it's available at shopevanandgalen.com. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, ice cream taste test. All right, this is the uh, aerated one, the, the non-vacuum chambered. Good. Still delicious. Yeah. 
Just like less consistent size wise. Yeah. This is the vacuum chambered. Wow, the spoon is so hot, it's like melting. And there's like, can you see the like fumes coming off of it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Any difference? I think these are more like... When you say these, can you say which ones you're referring to? The vacuum chambered ones seem more creamy. Interesting. Can I, can I try? They're a little bit too cold for you. These are going to no, be No, I'll warm them up. One fell. I think they're a little bit creamier. Interesting. But these, these are way colder too, so it might just be their, their cold difference, because these are a fresh batch. I'm going to... Hey, Caitlin, these are significantly colder than these. Okay, well, I'll try these. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I'll do my method. Those will be fine. You can just eat those, I think. <gasps> no, they were crunchy. <laughs> I like them a little bit soft. And... <laughs> don't judge you me. Look, you look so uh, majestic. <laughs> mm. Great. Perfect temperature. Yep. No crunch. Yep. Okay. These are significantly colder. Yeah, I can see them. Here, just let, just let them sit on your spoon for a little bit. I'm going to put these both back. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, the main danger with these is if they're too cold, they can actually like lightly damage your tongue through frostbite. Yeah. Why do you think I'm doing my method? <laughs> actually, the, the method is... Darth just... Caitlin. <sighs> <laughs> How's the mouth feel? Uh, like extra cold ice cream? Like <laughs> yeah. slightly chewy ice cream? Yeah. In ball form? In ball form? Okay. <sighs> These ones are still smoking a little bit. <laughs> All right, well, while that warms up, I'm going to pour some more liquid nitrogen. Sounds <laughs> good. Come on, Bill. I'm just going to go like this to catch any drips. Yeah. Okay, I think I can try these now. It's maybe a smidge creamier, but I don't know if it's worth the effort. I don't know if it's worth the effort. I agree. Like, it's not, a, it's not a big enough difference, I don't think. I agree. It's not a big enough difference. Yeah. But I'm glad we tried it. Yeah. It did make a texture, like a, a size difference and a consistency difference. It's a big visual difference, but the ultimate taste isn't, like, super effective. Mm. No. I agree. Yeah. So we're getting close to the time, guys. The time to compare... The bot versus the DIY. But before we do that, should we make the full DIY? With I think ice that, cream I think that that's a separate segment, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. I think let's I think let's wrap up the buy versus DIY. And then we'll do that as a bonus. And thing. we'll do that as a bonus thing. And who knows? There might even be a bonus bonus. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> we have multiple layers of comparisons and tests. Wait, I need I need to do uh, I need to clear this. Need a cup? Yeah. <laughs> no, don't, don't film me. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's what's got to happen. It this has is to necessary. <laughs> Put your mouth on it. <laughs> All right, I think that's good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so should we try the buy versus DIY? Or yeah. should we try the buy first? Buy first or the DIY first? Let's try the DIY first. Unless yes. you want to try the buy first. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, do we have another container? Another little bowl? I mm -hmm. can go get one. They get a medium bowl. A medium, yeah. Or get, get, get a small bowl. If, I don't think we have any more small bowls, though. All right, I'm going to take these out and start warming them up in the room temperature space. 
just so that they can be a, a good temperature. We have the two chocolates <coughs> um, from the, some of the different methods where we made chocolates. We have the one strawberry and we have the two bananas. All right, let's do some mixing. Heck yeah, oh my gosh. You guys, I'm so excited. Let's, um, should we show them what we're, what we're aiming for on the, on the oh, cover? Oh, should we, should we get a... Or we can put our image up again? Yeah. Okay. So as a reminder, this is what we're going for right here. It's the banana split flavor of Dippin' Dots. It's like I'm in a pool of them. <laughs> it consists of the strawberry, the banana, and the chocolate. Good thing we got this. Hey, get out of the way. Banana, <clears throat> chocolate, strawberry. All right, I'll do like a, I'm gonna scoop from the good banana. Yeah, yeah the prettier so banana. Like one, two, oh, pardon me. They're bouncy. Three. I think three of each is good. I'll do four. Four. Mm. Mm, which one's better? This one looks better. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> the glass itself. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was with the dry ice. Yeah. All right, and I'll do four. That's kind of five. That looks pretty even. Okay. Well, it's because uh, there's some... Little bits, yeah. Reducing the yield. One, two, three, four. Ooh, guys. You guys. We have the mix. It's nice and like crisp movement of the beads and everything like that. That's looking great. I think that's amazing. Looks really good. Can you, can you put, just like hold the spoon in there with your gloves? Just on a little beauty shot? Yeah. That's so cool. All right. Should I go for a bite? Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Make sure I have a good amount of each. <laughs> Is it too cold? <laughs> mm, it was so cold. <laughs> it's such a big bite. You should, have, you should have done the Caitlin method. But it's delicious. It's so good. <laughs> you look like you're enjoying it. It's so good. All but the flavors. It's so cold. Is it living up to your memory of the banana split Dippin' Dots? I, I wonder if it's better. But maybe it's just been so long since we had real Dippin' Dots. I don't know. I also, I also kind of suspect, and we'll see if I'm proven wrong or not. I have, I always kind of had a feeling, even though I like Dippin' Dots. I had a feeling that like they could probably get away with like cheaper ice cream mm. because they're like the novelty is the fact that it's little dots mm. right like it doesn't have to be the most amazing ice cream because people aren't eating it for like oh the most buttery creaminess they're eating mm. it because it's tiny little balls and that's fun yeah and that's fun and nothing against that i enjoy it but i always wondered like is it not the best quality of ice cream like is this better because we use ice cream that is meant to be consumed at, in normal ice cream form. I don't know. It's good. That's all I'll say right now. It is amazing and I love it and we made it. Can I try? The edges are starting to melt a little bit, just like normal Dippin' Dots. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're right. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna actually put these up. Oh yeah, yeah. The remainder. <clears throat> just wanna preserve what we have left. Can you get um, like a, a top-down shot, because you're taller than me, of my spoon, like holding it? Yeah, yeah. I need it for the thumbnail, you know? Yeah, because these, these are, this is a... Just zoomed out more. More zoomed out, like this? Yeah. Should yeah. be separate, also? No, I want them together. Uh, hold, hold it over, I want to get one off to the side. That can be closer because it's smaller on screen. Ooh. That's cool. All right. And you got just like a straight yeah. top down? Yeah. A little zoomed out. 
Now you can't really see and see the spoon really. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll try it now. And by try it. Now that now that, that spoon's gonna be a lot colder. I know. It's cooled off. I have my ways. All right. Well, here, well, oh, <laughs> while you're doing that, I'm just gonna get a new spoon. I'm gonna have another bite. Because <laughs> it's melting, man. Mmm. Mmm. That's cool. The ironic sentence of the stream. Mmm. All right. Okay, it's starting to melt on the spoon. Right, I think cool. you're gonna try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, cold my teeth. Mmm. <laughs> it's such a bigger bite. And move forward. Oh. Move that way. Because you're, you're, you're getting the like pink reflection a lot. Mmm. Yeah. That's so good. So good. Mmm. Right now, I'm thinking it might be better. Yeah. Than original dip and dots. But you know what? We can find out. Yeah, we're gonna find out right now. Because we spent way too much money ordering dip and dots and having them shipped to us. Mm -hmm. The smallest amount you can buy is a 12 pack and it costs like $150. <laughs> yeah. Well, each dip and dot packet is $3 and something cents. But there's a minimum order quantity of 12 and shipping costs 150 bucks. So, yeah. Should I go get another container of this size? Or do you want to just eat them out of the packet? We'll just dip into the packet. But I think we should show a visual comparison. Okay. I think uh, I'm going to go get another here, container. Well, we'll, we'll do it here. Let's do this. No, no, no. I, I, want it to, I want it to be like the same. All right. All right. Temporarily, I'm going to put this back into the super cold storage. Because it, it, it was melting, guys. It was like melting. I'm going to need to open up multiple of these in order to reach the same size. Okay. Wait, are you opening two? Yeah, because we're going to need that much to fill that container. <clears throat> okay. Do you want to film? Yes. Okay. Let's get a look at our competition here. Perfectly sized balls. Actually, a little variation. Yeah, there's some chunkiness. Yeah, there's some chunks. They're much tinier. Whoa. Kind of dusty at the end. Well, because... I think I think one was plenty. <clears throat> oh, okay. I mean, you yeah. already... I'll pour a little bit in there. Okay. Interesting. We'll just have an open one. <clears throat> All right, let's compare ours. Our ours? chocolates are much darker. Yeah, ours has much more color variation. Our, our, our pinks are much more natural pink. I know, but neither are natural, but well, no, our yellows are they're... about the same. I think the pink is kind of natural because strawberries are pink. Yeah. Um, Their pink is like fluorescent pink, though. Yeah, I don't know if it's being picked up on camera. Their pink is is quite a bit brighter. It it barely looks like they have any chocolate in there, which is interesting. Yeah, I like I like the chocolate. Yeah. All right, do you want a bite? Sure. The balls are so fine. Sorry. <laughs> you weirdo. <laughs> There's like no chocolate. What? Which so I mean, visually makes sense. It's, it's not as good as ours. So is it just like is strawberry and banana flavors? It's just strawberry and banana, but the flavors aren't mm. as um, strong. There's a very strawberry first. Here, get your own spoon. I mean, I like the strawberry. I like it. But there's it. primarily taste of strawberry. Uh, the strawberry and the banana, there's just not the chocolate to balance it out. Right? But also, I feel like the flavors are just a little bit more... Artificial? Yeah. It tastes more like, um, I mean, all of this is candy. It's just sugar mm -hmm. and milk. Mm. Try ours again. Mm. 
I don't know. I like ours better. I like ours better. Maybe it's just because... Uh, uh, here, I'm going to... It, it mm. could just be because I like the add addition of the chocolate. Oh. The, I got a chocolatey bite, an especially high chocolatey bite, and ours is so good. Okay, but I'm, I'm going to, just to be fair, I'm going to take an especially low chocolatey bite. Yeah. Just to compare the strawberry and the banana. Yeah, I'll try that too. Ours is way better. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Mm. Heck yeah! Mm, 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 wow! Mm. And we're I mean, gonna do a, we're gonna do a full buy versus DIY comparison, price, time, and other things, in a little bit. But just part of, like the taste test. Mm-hmm. There's kind of tastes watered down, if I'm being honest. It's sweet, but the flavors of banana, strawberry, and chocolate, the chocolate's non-existent. The banana and strawberry are just kind of watered down and more artificial tasting. Like it's definitely more artificial tasting. I think that's the main thing that's standing out to me. Mm -hmm. mm. Whereas ours is like really delicious. It's like really good. I mean, I gotta say, theirs is still good. Mm -hmm. But if if you're giving me both side by side and I have to pick one. For taste, I'm picking ours. Mm. It's like richer. I'm getting more cream mm -hmm. flavor instead of just the artificial sweet. And I think that's the big thing. The cream stands out more, more in ours. Yeah, there's like a creamier mouthfeel. Mm. Should we jump into the Buy vs. DIY comparison? Mm hmm. This is already kind yeah. of a. Let's add some to this bite. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. No. I'll save this. Can you open it for me? Yeah. And just in case we need more like thumbnail shots or anything. Yeah, yeah, we might. All right, there we go. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. I love this experiment. I love this stream. This was fun. We've gotten to eat a lot of <clears throat> ice cream today. Yeah. You ready for the the, the buy versus DIY? Yeah, baby. All right, come on in. I can't, I have like a very small window. <laughs> Should I go here? Yeah, yeah, right here. There we go. Here, I'll, I'll move this outwards some. This might be, the metal might be cold. No, it's aluminum, it's been radiating oh, out okay. pretty well. Cool. All righty, so we've we'll hinted at price. We've hinted at the price a little bit. The Dippin' Dots, the buy, two, four, oh, sorry. The buy, <laughs> the bot Dippin' Dots cost $3.49 per serving, but you need to order a minimum quantity. So in total, the buy. <clears throat> That's okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to get all these numbers right in my head. The bot Dippin' Dots cost $3.49 per serving. You need to order a minimum quantity. So in total, that's $41.88 just for the Dippin' Dots themselves, but you need to add 154 for shipping, 16.21 for tax, which brings it up to a grand total of 212 and 63 cents. That's how much we pay to experience these. See, 12 <clears throat> Dippin' Dots packets. Yeah. Now, some places you can get them local, some like gas stations have them, but ours didn't. We went there, we had video proof, they didn't have them, so this is what we had to pay. Now, for the DIY, we paid seven dollars and forty-four cents for all of the ice cream. Okay. And we could have made a ton more dippin' dots. Yes. With that. We paid thirty-one dollars and seventy cents for the liquid nitrogen. Mm -hmm. And that's all of the consumables. So in total, that that maybe costs like less than forty bucks. Now if we add in this and the canister. It's like two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, so it's <clears throat> but but, but we the can use these. Yeah, in consumables, I think that we kind of win. Yeah. Because I want this anyways. I uh, you know maybe maybe we n might not have gotten the separate separating funnel. Yeah, but we were, we were going to end up with a liquid nitrogen tank one way or another. One way or another. Anyways. And if you have a liquid nitrogen tank, it's it's more cost effective to DIY it. Yeah. So we went <clears throat> on the price. 
Yeah, we went on the price. Now, now time. In order to ship this out to you, it takes four to five days for the bot. And ours, we can go down to our local welding supply store, pick up some liquid nitrogen, go to the grocery store, pick up some ice cream, and we'll have Dippin' Dots in hours that same day. Yeah. Honestly, it's know. not that much work to make them. It's like, not. It's pretty fast. And it's fun. It's exciting. I enjoy the process. Like, almost every time we, when we do a Biverse DIY, we lose mm -hmm. in time. But I think because the shipping takes long, and, like, when you want Dippin' Dots, you want them now. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're craving mm -hmm. them, you're not like, oh, I'm, I'm going to want Dippin' Dots in a week. Or, no. Or, like, I'm going to drive to the amusement park. Yeah, for Dippin' Dots. Three hours away, pay for a ticket to get in to the amusement park, and then just go up to the Dippin' Dots station and say, can I have one? No. Eat it, then leave. No. I, I think, like... <clears throat> You know, if you have a welding supply store within a reasonable distance, you can you can have these in like less than two hours. Yeah. Now, appearance. Give them another shot. Give them another close up. Okay. I have mixed feelings on appearance. I have mixed feelings too. Theirs is more consistent, but I think because- Ours looks more like natural and like premium. Yeah. Now ignore the smears on the bowl. Let's get you. Let's get you like really in there. Yeah. Our balls are not as consistent as their balls, but their balls are tinier and kind of crumbly. Okay, I'm looking at chat. I prefer the DIY. I think yours looks natural. Um, yours is prettier. DIY in appearance. I like your colors more. I'm kind of thinking prefer the same yours? thing. Yeah. I mean, like we're getting. It's not just us. Yeah, it's not just us. Now we did say I like the. I like the DIY more. Yours looks better, so much better. Chocolate makes it look more appetizing. DIY is better, DIY is better. I think homemade, we win. Homemade wins. I think we win. Want to pull up the board again? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, wow, wow. You guys, I don't think <clears throat> we've ever done so good on a Biverse DIY. Texture. Um, I think ours one's in texture. Honestly, it's creamier. I, I actually like the bigger balls. Let me, let me test again. similar if I'm being honest <clears throat> I think the bigger balls leads to a better eating experience I do like opinion. the bigger balls this one would be close mm -hmm. like if I had to pick one I think I would give it to ours but I'm also down to give this one a draw let's give it a draw yeah let's give it a draw because it's a pretty small difference both are very tasty and pleasant mm -hmm. they both have that satisfying like Lots of little balls melting into one big ice cream mush yeah. texture, you know? They're both fun. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and taste. We've Ours already wins. discussed this, yeah. So by Ours far, wins by far, by far, baby. Oh. Yeah. I, I, think that, I think that counts as a sweep. Even though we tied on one, mm -hmm. I consider that a full sweep. Yeah. Wow. That's pretty exciting. Sorry, I had to eat another bite. Mmm. I don't blame you, babe. Wow. Mmm. Well, that... Can you open it? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Ooh. That's fun. That's really exciting. <clears throat> what a good treat to give yourself. I know. <clears throat> but we're not done yet. No, we're not done yet. We have something else in mind that could be a total failure or an even better treat. And that is, instead of melting store-bought ice cream, we're going to take the ingredients that you use to make homemade ice cream and try putting those in the liquid nitrogen. So. <clears throat> Gather the ingredients, baby. Good thing I have them right over here. Should we get another cup to mix this in? I have a cup. Oh, I have a measuring a cup. cup. Okay. Right. Because I need to measure out proportions. <clears throat> so. My mom makes homemade ice cream. And she'll add various things in. I love her butter pecan ice cream. so good. But the like vanilla ice cream base is just heavy whipping cream and sweetened condensed milk. This is like a homemade ice cream on easy mode is what she calls it. Yeah. I'm gonna look up the exact proportions because we have them in a photo. 
that we took of her <laughs> recipe <laughs> yeah, your parents at house. my parents' house. Here it is. That's not it. <laughs> That was another sheet of paper. Another, another random piece of. of paper that Gatlin took a picture of. Here, do you have a can opener, baby? Yes, I do. I'll start opening the sweet condensed milk while you look for that recipe. Now, just in an effort to keep things like kind of as pure as possible, we're just going to be making vanilla, which is just plain. Yeah. And a lot of the sweetness comes is. from the uh, sweetened condensed milk, right? Yes. All the sweetness comes from the sweetened condensed milk. So the ratio is two cups of heavy cream for one can of sweetened condensed milk. Um, you might need to sweetened stir it. Sweetened condensed milk doesn't smell like I thought it would. It's just like sweetness. Mm -hmm. Kind of has like some butteriness to it also. Oh yeah, it's buttery. Have you ever tried it? Stick no. a finger in there. <clears throat> it's sweet. But not as just pure sweet as I thought. It's like milky, creamy, kind of like it has a slight hint of saltiness Yeah. to it. I'm not sure. So um, do we want to do, just so we have a little extra in case mm -hmm. we need mm -hmm. to experiment. Mm -hmm. um, it's two cups of heavy cream to one can. Should we do half a can in one cup? Yeah. Okay. Or you can try to do a quarter of the can mm -hmm. in half a cup. Um, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Let's put in a half cup first. Yeah. And then we'll eyeball a quarter of the can. Yeah. You want to film or now? It's fine. All right. Okay. Now I don't know if this will incorporate well we without need to being beat it. heated. <clears throat> oh yeah. Well, we're definitely gonna have to like kind of stir it up. Um, so Should we're doing I, a quarter of this? Yeah, a quarter of the can. All right. Should I get a, a whisk? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, so this is half. So that's a quarter. I think we might already be close to there. This is weird stuff, guys. Sweetened condensed milk. I wonder what it's normally used for. Let me look up the ingredients. Where's the ingredients? It contains milk and sugar. That's it. Whoa, it's so thick. When you talk about natural, baby, <laughs> the ingredients to this are just milk and sugar. There we go. This is going to be the most natural. <clears throat> oh, wait. Yeah, wait. Before we move on, <clears throat> this is, we've already kind of moved on a little bit. <clears throat> Let's look up the ingredients. Of the Dippin' Dots. Oh, yeah. Ingredients. Milk, comma, cream. Why are milk and cream separate? Are they different? It's like, maybe like milk and heavy cream. All right, milk, cream, sugar, corn syrup. I mean, we can't judge cocoa, it too. Cocoa, coca, alkali, salt, red, 40, yellow, five, strawberry juice, natural and artificial flavors. Guar gum, carrageen, locust, bean, and dextrose. Oh. <clears throat> and look at the ingredients in normal ice cream. This is the Haagen Dazs. Yeah. Cream, skim milk, strawberries, sugar, egg yolks. Oh. So, like. This is probably why we liked the taste and texture better. Yeah. And then the banana, milk, cream, skim milk, sugar, banana puree, roasted cashews, <clears throat> corn syrup. This one has corn syrup. Mm. Natural flavor, salt, carabine gum. Uh, so this, this has gum, some more natural ascorbic acid. This things. is yeah, the banana is a little yeah. less natural. Okay, so the Haagen Dazs is the real real deal. Let's look at the chocolate. Uh, so you could have just gotten all Haagen Dazs and been a lot more natural. Okay, so this is the other cheaper one, and this has yep similar things: milk, cream, skim milk, sugar, coca, then processed with alkali less than two percent of carb, bean gum, guar, so, guar gum, and salt. This doesn't have um. This doesn't have uh, corn, syrup. corn syrup, though. Interesting. Hmm. So, a lot more natural ingredients. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, but if you wanted to, again, a benefit of doing DIY is you can choose. Yeah, you can choose. Yeah. There's less dyes, less processed, everything. Less corn syrup. You just have sugar. Yeah. Now, 
Um, I feel like I got this pretty well incorporated. Yeah, let's so, pour it. Um, let's move on to pouring the true DIY ice cream mix. Now, a benefit of this is we didn't have to melt it. Yeah. So it might um, uh, behave better with the liquid nitrogen. Yeah. All right, let's pour this in. Oh yeah, that's nice and pourable. Well, we have a lot of this that we could potentially make. It's also gonna have less um, bubbles, I believe, because it's not aerated like ice cream is. Yeah, now this is the basic base. You can add chocolate flavoring, you can add strawberries, you can add whatever you want. Sorry, I'm playing in the way. Yeah, here, can you uh, get this? Yeah. I need to do another uh, top Oh, off. you can top it off. Just because I didn't put the lid on here. I, I made a lid. And I meant to put the lid on in between, in between pour sessions. And guess what? I haven't used the lid once. No. All right. Let's do a top off. Let's take the lid off. Take the top off or the top off? All right, Bill. One last time. Do you know what this is uh, normally used for? Uh, this uh, doer? What? It's for um, protecting biological samples for transporting from one place to another. What kind of samples? Samples used to make babies. <laughs> Anyways, let's make some uh, let's make some DIY. Uh, <laughs> we have this liquid white um, substance. <laughs> okay, split top. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? Um. The, the handheld won't catch anything, I don't yeah. think. All right, ready? Let's twist this. Let's get this going. So we might have a smidge of banana at the bottom, but. Oh, really tiny balls. I mean, so many ice crystals on the edge of the glass now. It's really a lot finer, super fine. Yeah. But I think again, it's, you know how the vacuumed liquid was even finer than yeah. the non-vacuumed? This is like, even more vacuumed. And this is probably never, it was never whipped. This is probably going to be end up being the same size as the dip and dot balls. It might be. I mean, because they probably it's, it's not like they're taking ice cream and melting no, it. No, you know they're what doing I mean? it from scratch. They're doing just it from like, scratch, just like this. But they're just putting other stuff in there. Yeah. Ooh, I'm excited. Me too. These are really tiny balls. Look well, at those. and you know what that means? Hmm. They're freezing faster. Yeah, less likely to clump together. Because the smaller the balls, the faster the freeze. Yeah. The custard-based ice cream is also going to be thicker than the milk version. Interesting. Interesting. So is this considered a custard-based? I thought, I thought custard had to have um, egg in it. Well, I guess some, those, uh, the Haagen-Dazs had egg. Yeah, that, it, it, that had egg. This does not have egg. This is just no. milk and sugar. But this, the other ice creams didn't have egg. No. That's why Haagen-Dazs no, is yeah, so this, good. No, this is a milk base. Yeah. Okay, custard does need to have egg in it. No vanilla added? No, this is just straight up basic. It's, it's a, like, sweet cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're keeping it simple. Yeah, we could have added vanilla flavor. One thing we could do is we could stop this partway through, try what we have so far, and see if we want to add vanilla. But I don't know how much vanilla we should add. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I, I don't think it'll make, like, a, I don't know if it'll be. Okay, I think it's yeah. going to be good either way. Yeah. All right, let me prepare the uh, other container. Yes. Actually, let me scoop some more ice out of here. <laughs> so much ice. Sorry about the scraping noise. Do 
Just think about it as like scraping the bottom of your bowl clean when you have a delicious treat. A very small amount of vanilla goes a long way. Yeah, I know you can easily so overpower with all. vanilla. Yeah. All right, let's see what let's see what we got. Let's check the yield. Yeah. I mean, this process has been the easiest. It's a very consistent, even flow. Mm -hmm. So I think in terms of like what we got going on here, testing different methods, this has been the easiest. And we're not having to microwave it and, or vacuum yeah. it. All right, let's we'll stop the flow. Do you want to um, go the away from split? Or I'll do it. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I know. I'm really curious to see how this one's going to be. Yeah. All right, should we finally put a catcher underneath it when we move this? Oh, yeah, we'll just put a cup. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Oh, I see a big yield at the bottom. All right, this is going to be extra spicy when I start pouring because it'll be a lot warmer than it was. That's not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bubbly. Probably because there's less ice crystals down there. Mmm. Did you see a good yield? Oh, yeah, I see the yield. It's all at the bottom still. Oh, here it starts coming. There you go. Yeah, you gotta shake it. There you Whoa! go. Whoa! <coughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look how tiny they are. Well, oh, and they're so even. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that's pretty. Wow! 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 wow. I think. <coughs> wait, wait here. <clears throat> Get the pour. Ready? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's wow. so nice. They're so smoky still. I definitely think, and this is me saying this without having tried them yet, but just in terms of like the process and consistency, it seems like using an ice cream, like a homemade ice cream base is gonna be better than melting existing ice creams. We'll just leave this up here because yeah. Oh, it's still dripping. Yeah. Okay. We'll set this over here. Let's let this warm for a little bit. Yeah, it's still uh, quite cold. Quite cold. Dippin' Dots oh. better watch out. <laughs> but the thing is, this is still like a, a process. This is still a thing yeah. to do. Yeah, this is still like a lot. Yeah. You have to be comfortable with liquid nitrogen and stuff. There's a little bit of a like setup. Start up oh, momentum you need to overcome. Oh, yeah. Ah. I mean, I. <laughs> Thanks, Chad. Everyone's reminding the lid. <laughs> I, I, I spent a lot of effort to make this a little lid. You did. You know, it had to be precision cut, precision fit. It took me three tries to get the lid shaped the correct size. Well, I'm glad we're finally using it. I went it through a lot of three hours foam in. core. This was my first attempt at the lid. It didn't work well. It was too steeply angled. And it just like, I mean, while it does fit on top of one of these beakers okay, it was just mm -hmm. so much air gap around it that yeah. it just. Kaylin, you should milk this up a little milk tea and make that into, dip, into dipping Dots. Now, I don't think that would work because there's not enough fat in that. So I think, you know, milk tea is like tea with milk in it. There's a lot mm. of water. It's going to be too icy. I think like you need the <sighs> super high fat content. Otherwise, it's just going to be little ice cubes. Now, it would yeah. still be interesting. Yeah, but now, if you're watching this on YouTube, because you can leave comments, the comments can be upvoted. If you're watching this on our Uncut channel, leave comments down below of crazy homemade ice cream flavors we could turn into mm. Dippin' Dots. Because I think that, like, I, I'd be down to do this again. I'd be down I, to do I, it. I mean, it depends on the interest of it. But if there's a lot of interest on us trying some interesting combinations, yeah. doing our own unique mixes mm -hmm. of, like, whatever flavors whatever we flavors want, we want yeah. I'm open we to can, do a follow-up. Because then we can, like, <clears throat> see the top voted comments, yeah. gather supplies, be prepared. Yeah. So, so leave, leave a comment down below. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try one. Mm -hmm. His battery is dying. 
Mm. Mm. Sounds crunchy. Very different. Good, bad. I think it needs more flavor. Interesting. Well, we, we have more. We could put vanilla in it. It just tastes like I'm eating frozen milk. <laughs> 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 I feel like it needs like something, something else going for it. Interesting. You're going to have to <clears throat> let it cool. It's, it's pretty cold. So I'll let it cool. Just, 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 don't, don't, don't breathe on it. You can just let it sit there. <laughs> the method works. <laughs> I'll do it where you can't see. <laughs> it's the breathing out noise that weirds me out, to be honest. <laughs> it's like it's like the way it's like halting. It's like <laughs> 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 <'cause> I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but like I, I think the, the <clears throat> if I'm being honest, it tastes kind of like, like it's just like frozen milk, right? No. No. Do you like it? It tastes like a really buttery ice cream, like a sweet buttery ice cream. Let yours yeah. let yours warm up a bit. I can prepare it if you'd like. <laughs> I'll just blow on it like a normal person. Not as effective. <laughs> yeah, it tastes to me like. I almost think it's like too buttery. It tastes very buttery. Here, you, you might drip. You have some on the bottom. Um, this is the base my mom uses for butter pecan. Okay. Right. Yeah. So it is really buttery tasting. The texture is good. Leave leave your recipes for DIY ice cream. Like bases in oh, the comments yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. That'd be even better. We can just screenshot those and just do those. You know what I mean? Yeah. It definitely doesn't taste like just frozen milk though. It's sweet and it's really buttery and creamy. Yeah. But it's almost it's, like a little too buttery. It's it's it's, it's, it's too much. I think the buttery too much buttery when my mom does it works because it's for butter pecan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. But I I do think one thing we learned from this. The process works. And it's easier when it's just straight from liquid. Exactly. So mm -hmm. if we can try some different ice cream bases, mm -hmm. you know, to figure out what works the best. And then if we want to try flavors, mix them into those bases. I think yeah. that'd be really good. All right. Well, here, let's set these aside. I think I'm done with them. But guys, we're not done yet. We have another surprise for you. We have one more surprise. <clears throat> because, you know, all of this was spawned. All of this was spawned because we couldn't easily get Dippin' Dots. But you know what you can easily get? They're in the fridge inside. They're in the fridge They're inside? Not over there. No. Okay, start. Restart this when I come out with them. <laughs> stall, stall. Um, anyways, guys, I was just saying uh, um, the best method <clears throat> for warming up your ice cream is to put it in your open mouth. And okay. Uh, restart your, your spiel. This all started because we wanted Dippin' Dots and we couldn't get them locally. Mm. But you know what you can get locally? Knock off Dippin' Dots. Here, let me, let me come up, let me come up close. Now, they are not Dippin' Dots. They're, no. are they like yogurt based? They, 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 they're kind of yogurt. It says banana split. They look like Dippin' Dots, but these are stable at zero degrees instead of negative 40 degrees. Yeah, so like mm. chemically, they are different. Yeah, they're a different product. Different even product. Even though they look the same. Let's do an unboxing. So these ingredients, milk fat and non-fat milk, liquid sugar, sugar water, corn syrup, and then it has coca, Sugar, salt, natural, flavor, mono, diglycerides, so it's kind of bubble to gum, <laughs> bean gum, cellulose gum, carrageenan, yellow, red, blue, sulcrose, etc., etc., etc. Anyways, interesting. So we can try these. 
Cookies of shake for a second. We can, well, so we can try these and see, do they compare to real Dippin' Dots? Do they compare to our homemade ones? Was all of our time and effort worth it? Or could we have just gone to the grocery store and gotten these? And guess what? These are by far the cheapest. And look at that, they have chocolate. Look at that. All right, I'll try it. Oh, the face is not good. <laughs> it is not yeah, good. De deactivate it before you hand it to me. I think that's better so they okay. don't get all shaken. <clears throat> smells very strawberry-ish. I don't want to weigh in with my thoughts until you've, bu you've bitten it. I don't want to spoil the surprise for you. <laughs> They're not good. They just like dissolve into nothing. Yeah, these these are there's nothing. No, there's no chew. They just dissolve. Like there's like a higher water content or something. They just become nothing. Mm. Oh, that's you know what? They're chalky. Here's they're my, chalky. Here's my feelings right now. I'm disappointed that they're bad, but I'm also glad that they're bad because I would have been really sad if they were good and we'd gone through all this effort for nothing. <laughs> Success. Success. Yes. Yes. 